Hey guys, it's Chase, and we're here for episode two of the uh, Down Movies Podcast. I know, we got everyone fighting each other right now. But uh, everyone say hi, welcome back. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. There you go. Hi or welcome back. Uh, and this week is another themed week. I know we had a uh, Johnny Depp theme. all themed. Yes. <laughs> but this is a actor-themed week. centers oh. around yeah, one man. around one man, the myth, the legend, because we already had Johnny Depp. And mm. I gotta tell you, I celebrate this guy's entire, entire catalog. <laughs> If you can name that movie, you uh, get some uh, props. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But basically, um, this week, the myth, the legend, the man himself, the the uh, Renaissance man of sorts, is uh, yes. Yeah. Are you excited yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have I have I sold it to you yet? Um, it is. Uh, <laughs> can't even focus. Yeah, can't even focus. Nicholas Cage. Woo! <laughs> um, I think I was the only one that was truly excited about this thing Probably because so. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This themed episode, and this is going to be, Caitlin, you're learning this for the first time, but this week on Down the Movies will be the Nicolas Cage week, starting off with this podcast. So because she hasn't oh, seen great. a lot, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> Caitlin hasn't yeah. seen a lot, she She's hasn't seen a lot of the Nicolas Cage uh, this movies. This will also be what's known as Moving Week for Caitlin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Moving Week and Unsubscribe Week for me. So anybody got any week. boxes? Send them to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> calm down, everyone. Calm down. He is, you know, this man has done so many garbage movies lately, but he was also at one point a good actor. He, and things. I believe he still is. He still he is a good actor. He just doesn't get the right projects. He needs some money. He got an Oscar. Yeah, he got an Oscar. He's an Oscar winner. Yeah. yeah. I am an Oscar winner! But yeah. he just needs... He's no joke. He's no joke. Yeah. And I think... He, He's a Coppola. Yes, he is. Yeah. That's, good. That's a good point. Change so he name. could kill you if you wanted. <laughs> yeah. That's what, what that means. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah no, but uh, so basically we all chose, in our opinions, our maybe not the best, but our favorite Nicholas Cage yeah. movie and, and our least favorite Nicholas Cage movie. Yeah. So that way it's, you know, because it's hard to, because he's had a lot of good ones and it's hard to be like, this is the best one, this is the worst one. Because yeah. if you go by IMDb ratings, there's some shit ones on there, but a lot of us hasn't seen, haven't seen those. So, I mean, yeah. it's harder to be like worst, best, but just favorite, least favorite, just ones you enjoy or ones you just really just don't care for. So uh, I guess we'll right. start with the good, and yes. I will kick us off as always since nobody wants to be uh, different. So. You're doing good. I know. Have I have I, have I won yet? <laughs> um, so basically, my pick for one that I enjoy, and everyone else looks at me like I'm crazy, <laughs> <laughs> is the 1997 classic, Face Off. Right. That's right. It's good. Okay. I, I like everyone's quiet. <laughs> this is like. I, the thing about I like about doing videos over podcasts is at least I'm just talking to myself and I know there's not going to be a reaction but when there's people in the room I expect results was I, that uh, John Woo movie? yes okay. so Love John Woo. pretty yeah pretty good good at, good at uh, hey, some karate I, movies and kung fu I told yeah. you we saw this one opening weekend you did and it's not a bad movie it's, it's not, not a bad, bad it's, not, it's a bad not a bad movie the concept is a little ridiculous and I'll get to that uh, but, yeah. so yeah. basically if you haven't seen it I know a lot of, there's some people who haven't but who haven't seen it I it's haven't. about <laughs> You will. There you Don't go. worry. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Themed week. Um, so basically, uh, it's about John Travolta's character who's an FBI agent who, you know, is looking for this guy who's like just this awful terrorist and is on the most wanted list, whatever. Which I feel like which I feel like he really would be in real life if you gave him the chance. Yeah. Is Nicolas Cage's character. And basically, John Travolta's idea is to basically take his face and... <laughs> Take his face off. <laughs> Can't even do that, but... So he's got him right there. He's got him right and there. And rather than arresting him, he's going to swap yeah, faces with him. he's going to swap him. faces with him. And it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But I will say, though, this is one of the most fun movies of Nicolas Cage you could watch. Because, like, it think, is fun. think yeah. about it. There's just, there's explosions. There's just awful... Explosions. There's explosions. The earth is moving. <laughs> <laughs> there's just, there's cheesy dialogue. You get some crazy-eyed Nick Cage action in there. Yeah. And what's what's funny to me is I it's a good movie that really just doesn't make sense like really honestly because he ca- he had to capture Nick Cage to get his face mm-hmm. so yeah. you had him there you he is him. you get had it. him there the yeah, and then he's like I can't exa- I can't remember. I think was, was it, it, it th- yeah he wanted Some, to yeah. find out who he's working with yeah. And who, yeah his brother is I guess the other person over yeah the board, so he wants so. to learn all that yeah. stuff and then yeah. Nicholas Cage comes back to life or out of his little coma or he whatever. Gets his other, he gets and then he face. Yeah, and then he gets Travolta's face yeah. and puts it on him. So then but which is funny to me, like they don't look at things like body shape or <laughs> or anything like yeah. that. Because Nick Cage it's funny because like I'm John Travolta as Nick Cage, but I'm the size of Nick Cage. Right. And John Travolta is and the voice. size of John Travolta. They didn't do a you know a voice off. Yeah, well and well no no they did they dubbed over it. They dubbed like they have Nicolas Cage talking but it's John Travolta's mouth. 
Yeah. You know, like it's his word. So like they just did the it whole where he, movie. Yeah. Not the yeah. I mean, they had yeah. him, well, they had they had him in person. Like they have him impersonate each other. Mm-hmm. But then, like when they had wanted him to sound like John Travolta, oh, okay. his his mouth, you know, his yeah. Stuff so was they mouth. have the different faces, but they still sound like themselves. Yeah, because it's like it's what's that amazing, doesn't make no. Any but here's the either, here's the amazing <laughs> thing: just because they took their face off, that means their hairline changed. That means yeah. their heights changed. That means their, let me tell I mean, you it's this: just, it doesn't yeah. make any yeah. sense. And it's their a good voice movie. would still be the same. Yeah. That is that was always what would bother me. Yeah, about. yeah. it's like, annoying, but I it got a seven point three out of ten on IMDb. Uh, it's an enjoyable movie. It like, is really enjoyable. It's an enjoyable. It's a fun. And movie. I like seeing Nicolas Cage as a good guy better than a bad guy. So I liked that it was Travolta's good character trapped in. Nicholas Cage, because yeah. yeah. I would rather see him good, yeah, than Travolta good. Yeah, and it, it's just a fun action movie. It really is not that bad. It's goo. It's the concept it's, is goofy, it's, it's very goofy. It, but it's a good movie, and they both act pretty well. They do a good acting. Yeah, before John, of each other, yeah, which is, kind of which is kind of funny. And then John Travolta, um, before he was how he's now, which makes me sad. And and so, <laughs> you know what I mean? Before he was, stay tuned for John Travolta. Week. Yeah, John Travolta week, which you know at least he has better options that I've seen in. in Day, you know, but we can't movies. all pick Grease or Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I've seen more of his movies, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there you go. See, that would be better. See? Yeah, okay. they are. Right. So one day we're teasing. But, uh, <laughs> but no, you get good performances out of them. And I know there's that little iconic scene at the end where they're like staring at each other, like they're both against like a wall, oh. but it shows them like close up, and then yeah. they're like, you know, That's a and I won't spoil. Yeah, he loves doing that, and I won't spoil a lot because you haven't seen it. It is a fun movie. I know it's been around for ages, but I get a kick out of it, and I will. We will. Find it and review it as part of this week's <laughs> Nicolas Cage thing. If if you enter into it, knowing what it is, yeah, it's enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. and this was back in the and 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 I feel and like the and effects, the, yeah, yeah, the effects yeah. are pretty good. And I feel like in like the seventies, eighties, and nineties, they were less hard on movies. So in the nineties, it's like it got his rating for being good. Like people thought that was a bitching movie back when it came out, and now it's like okay, it's a little goofy, but mm-hmm. you know. So it's still better. It, it than had a chance to. It had its own term to be good. You know, and it actually got nominated for a few things. I was just looking at that. I'm on the IMDb page, so let me just get on that. But <laughs> had 21 nominations and won one Oscar. So oh, look right. at that. What's yeah. Oscar for? Uh, it's probably like best music. <laughs> like, yeah, and it, music's editing. nothing to sneeze at. Uh, best okay, it won the uh, best effects, sound effects editing. So oh, okay. so it won something, but it was nominated right. for best director, best writer, best action, or best actor, best both of them. They were uh, Nicholas Cage and uh, Travolta were nominated for best actor that year. So. And Look for the at same that. movie. So, wow. Um, so be, uh, best music, best makeup. You feel kind of shame yeah. right now, don't see? you? That's crazy. It got ne- see, so I didn't choose a p- I didn't choose shit, man. This is a fun <laughs> movie. It's a good movie that actually is proof that it got yeah. nominated for good stuff and it got nominated in every category. So Hey, look at there that. You go. So y'all y'all take that. <laughs> yeah, nerds. Sorry. Uh, Caitlin, we're passing the torch. You're up. All right. I know it's no Hold better on, than Let me off, get my but... notes here. Yeah, no, see, we came prepared. Normally, Caitlin and I just wing this. We're like all like sloppy, and then they're professional, and they're ready to roll. We and... had to make some notes this time, and part of the reason why... <laughs> now, for me, I haven't seen that many Nick Cage movies. I've only seen about four or five, to be honest. <laughs> and it's, I was looking at the list of all the movies he's done, and I have... I haven't seen any of them. I haven't heard of most of them. So I had to go with the ones I have seen. So my choices were very limited. So there probably are better and worse ones, but this is what I went with. My best one. <laughs> we're doing best up. ones, yeah. right? Yeah, build, I know. Yeah. I have to what give, movie are you I have to give yeah. a little speech before each one of I my I like that. Movies. I like that. Like, explain myself before. Yeah, don't hate me. <laughs> no, but mine, <laughs> no, my uh, best one for me is National Treasure. I really liked that movie. That's one of the only ones I've seen with him in it. But I, with National Treasure 1 and 2, I really enjoyed it. And I liked the first one better. It um, it was in 2004, and it got a 6.9 out of 10, which isn't terrible. That's not it's bad. all right. I mean, oh, and yeah. you have to take it for what it is. Again, <laughs> it's, a, it's Nicolas Cage. We all take these movies for what they are. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's mostly people, you know, want to hate on him. So that's why yeah. people yeah. are like, oh. But I, actually, movie. I've heard it's really National good. Yeah. Yeah. Heard National awesome. Treasure is really yeah. good. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. It makes yeah. a lot of I think yeah. most people know what it is, but for those of you who don't, it's his family were treasure hunters and so he's trying to you know follow their legacy and what they've been doing and he um his father tells him that basically there's um a war chest that's some rare treasure that he needs to find that um his like forefathers hid 
a long time ago and there's clues all left all over and they have to go and try and find the clues they get one and it has clues about something else that's some kind of historical artifact and they have to go there like i think they go to like mount rushmore for one of them and they go to um washington dc and it, it ends up they have to go and get the one of the final clues off the back of the constitution and oh, wow. so they're like getting in trouble because the, they have someone else that's after the treasure also and then they have the FBI getting involved because they're messing with stealing the constitution <laughs> and so it's just all this crazy stuff that wouldn't really happen you couldn't get away with it but <laughs> I that was making it seem so easy I remember watching that going these guys just it just yeah. did so good. I know. Just like, I want to try to steal yeah. the Constitution. <laughs> try it. Yeah. I have but no use for it, but it'd be fun. <laughs> like, <laughs> get her. Yeah. But, um, sign your name too. <laughs> yeah, they, they have to steal. So it's it's just pretty cool. I like the that they have to find all the clues and that they're going around. They're kind of fighting the other people to find the clues first and get to the treasure. And it's just it's a neat movie. I like. I think his acting was really good in it. Yeah. All the other actors in it did really well. I can't remember their names right now <laughs> of the main ones. I just looked at it earlier because um, I was trying to see. I was talking to Chase about. Um, the guy who is his best friend in there. Um, I was trying to figure out if it was the first or the second movie that he's in more. Because I know one of them, it shows them a whole lot more. And yeah. I think it may be the second one. Because the second one is where they're like um, trying to cover up for something. To ha like his family. They're trying to, um, He's trying to clear his family's name or something like that. And we were getting the two confused. So I was having to read up on it and make notes. So I made sure I didn't say one thing from the other. Because it's been a while <laughs> since I've seen them. Yeah. But... Um, of the ones I've seen, that's my favorite movie. I think it's just a kind of cool movie. I like that they're having to go on a treasure hunt and everything. It's a neat concept. So yeah, it's cool. Well, and that's the way they the way they hit all the clues and all the stuff that is already so historical <clears throat> was kind of neat. Because yeah. like a lot of the yeah. stuff in the Constitution, like wouldn't it they they end up stealing it and then they don't find anything on it. They're like all weird. But they had to use like a black light or they spill. Uh, yeah, they, they, they have yeah. all these different things. They get like these different encrypted. The clues aren't just clues; they're encrypted mm -hmm. messages, and they have to decode them and everything, and find someone who knows how. And yeah, and, those and kind of movies are fun. Yeah, they're, not a, a, like, yeah, they're not just finding clues like taped to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they're not just finding a clue like taped to the wall around the corner. You know, they're yeah. having to go. <laughs> yeah, they go. And, they're like, they're, Where's the it's not like blues, yeah. clues. Yeah. 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 Do you see a constitution? They're having to go, and they have, like, no idea where the clue is going to be. And in one of them, I think it's the first one. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure. They have to, like, pour water over um, Mount Rushmore or something on a certain part so that they can be able to see something in it, like in the stone. There's some things that they can't see unless they figure out how to decode it or move something a certain way. So it's just kind of neat. Yeah, that's that very cool. Mystery yeah. kind of aspect to it. So. I'll, I'll tell you, you've encouraged me to want to see I know. it. Yeah. National Treasure is a good movie. It is yeah. a movie. and it's a, it's a Nicholas. It's one of the few Nicholas Cage movies where he's not like he's like over the top. Yeah, right? yeah. like he's actually like acting. Yeah, and it's nice yeah. because yeah. you get because that's that's what he's yeah. doing. He's not now. being some weird character. Yeah. He's a normal guy. And another thing I didn't mention, his name is. Um, Ben Franklin, <laughs> yeah. because of his family yeah. and right. their history with like treasure hunting and the like, the history of their country and everything that they know, like they named him uh, Bill Ben Franklin Gates is his last name. But I thought that was cool because I didn't even realize his middle name was Franklin on there yeah. until today when I was <laughs> re re going over some more of the stuff. That's for cool. It. I really enjoyed that one. So it that's was, yeah, my favorite. A good, good, look at that. That's a solid you choice. Said, you said Thank more you. than I did, and I've seen <laughs> Face Off. Yeah, or like, and I've. You know, yeah. like that. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm just embarrassed myself. You just couldn't, oh, you couldn't back up your choice. How dare you? Okay. How dare you? <laughs> maybe it, maybe movie, it pays movie, to take notes sometimes <laughs> before. The movie yeah. speaks for itself, everybody, okay? It, it does all the work for me. Let's go see ah. Just the go movie watch. speaks for itself. Yeah, go watch it. You'll be like, that's oh, what they're trying to say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a uh, good movie does. Yeah, there you go. All right, Star, let's do it. All right. <laughs> now... I love this movie so much. And it's it's one of those where as I'm watching it I know I shouldn't love it and it it's that's kind of how I feel about all David Lynch movies. I watch them and I'm like, I don't know why I love it, but I do. Yeah. Very um, weird, obscure. But Wild at Heart. Hey. Yes. Um, from 1990. It's so fantastic. The basic synopsis is that Nicolas Cage is sailor He's, <laughs> he's kind of. I wish you could see Starlight. Yeah. <laughs> he's kind of a, a a rebel guy that you know he's no good, but he's got a heart of gold type character, yeah. and uh, he's in love with Laura Dern's character Lula, 
and oh, they really yeah. yeah see and they're kind of on the run from her mother who keeps hiring you know this different oddballs to hunt him down and kill sailor because oh, she wow. hates him so much Jeez. isn't harry dean stanton yeah the, yeah i'm telling you it's got a, it's got a lot cool. of great people <clears throat> in it but it's it's odd because it's David Lynch and it's yeah. you know it's his particular brand of particular set of brand. Yes, but, <laughs> but I I just I love it and and he characterized it. David Lynch characterized the movie as you know finding love in hell. That's, oh, yeah, that's cool. That's the way he the he's theme so he yeah he is he just, he's dreamy he's he perfect. But the reason why this is the Nicolas Cage movie is because he is this guy. He is this guy. He wears a snakeskin jacket, right, the whole movie. And that jacket was Nicolas Cage's jacket. I mean, oh, that God. is his jacket. Oh, God. He gave it to Laura Dern after they were done filming. I mean, he is this guy. He sings Elvis songs. We know Nicolas Cage loves Elvis. He, he just loves Elvis, right? He sings his own songs in the movie. Look at that. It's fantastic. That's pretty good. He's, he's all about being extreme and and sudden bursts sudden shouts lots of cryptic talk i mean this is yeah. <laughs> like nicholas cage as a rebel <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's so good and it's so perfect hey, and it teaches i out. mean <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know i haven't seen this one so yeah you need to we see need it. to find we need I've to find it and, pieces of and it. i haven't seen this one either but i'm interested uh, in seeing it now <laughs> yeah i know it's it's so Nick fantastic Cage, man, he's a good dude and it, it's just, it's, <laughs> it, it is just kind of, you know, it's over the top in parts. But, yeah, it's all good. And he's got his line, his, he, he loves his jacket very much. And, and you absolutely can believe he loves his jacket yeah. because it's his jacket. But uh, this is a snakeskin jacket. And for me, it's a symbol of my individuality and my belief in personal freedom. And that, to me, is Nicholas Cage. That's Nicholas Cage, man. That's, yeah, that, that is him. That is a quote probably just strung out of Nicholas Cage's brain. Yeah. I, it's so himself. fantastic. Yeah, and it and it's out there on Blu-ray, finally. Oh, and excited? I have to get it. And it's like $40 everywhere I look, oh, and God. it's frustrating. Why? But Wow. Just because it's, it's like an older movie that's yeah, on Blu-ray? Yeah. Or just, not, and, not many people and what enticed me to this movie... <laughs> actually, I was, I was like in eighth grade. I didn't get to see it till I was... You know, in my late teens. But they had the video for Wicked Game, and Wicked Game is one of the songs in the movie. And they had hey. two versions of the video for Wicked Game. One was with Homegirl writhing around on the beach. Oh, That's God. the one everybody yeah. loves. <laughs> yeah. And then they had the one that was for the movie Wild at Heart. And every time it showed little clips from Wild at Heart, I thought, this is something I've got to see. <laughs> it looks so different. It looks, you know, a little risque, a little wild, you know, Wild at Heart. Yeah. And, hey, there you, go. you know, I'm a, I, I was the Nicholas Fan Cage from way back. Fan Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Fan Cage. Cage fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Nicholas Fan Cage. <laughs> I can be a Fan Cage. But from way back fan because, yeah. because I saw. I, was I like, had my. Wow, my was bout, that like a clever like word of mouth thing? My, like my bout with di dyslexia for a minute. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, oh, no. Yeah. You know, because I saw, I saw, you know, several of his movies. I don't want to, one of them Michael's going to talk about next. And, know. you know, Peggy, yeah. <laughs> Peggy Sue next. got married. I mean, just lots of really great movies. And then this one came along and it was like something completely different. Yeah. And, no, and, and it was great. And it sounds really good. I That's why I'm excited. Because th here's the thing. <clears throat> when I first brought up the idea of doing a Nicolas Cage theme podcast, uh -huh. y'all all were like, uh, well, not, not like upset about it, but just kind of like, you sure? Like, you sure? Yeah. Yeah. But then it bring it brings this kind of love of he's a little over the top, but it's fun to watch yeah. his movies. Yeah, he's done some he's, shoddy things. He's back out of it, but he's an entertaining yeah. dude. His good or bad, good. yeah, he's yeah. always entertaining. His bad stuff yeah. is just kind of funny, man. It's yeah. just good to watch sometimes. It's, it's something you can go into and not even think about, and there's the ones you can think about yeah. that are a little bit more that are, clever yeah. that are actually good. Yeah. yeah, and so I think you're a little excited. I, I am. Yeah, I am a little bit excited. I chose Nick Cage. I want to revisit this movie. See, yeah, look at that. So you've done you've done well. You've, it's a, after 23 years, I'm finally accepted. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> My God, I, you're glowing. Yeah, I am she glowing. Can't stop smiling. I she's, love, she's so happy. I really love Wild at Heart. I finally get it. It's really See, great. Did it. I finally did it. 
the, now, anytime we see something with Nicolas Cage, I won't hear... You can you go, know, you know what? But I'm going to go see this over the top. It is, it, and I, I've got, <laughs> you know, I've got my little piece I want to say about Nicolas Cage after I talk about his bad movie. <clears throat> but it's it's a frustrating thing. He's a, he's a frustrating person. He's a, he's a tough cat. Man. Because yeah. there's no middle ground. Yeah. He's so great. He really can do a great job in movies. He really is enjoyable as an actor. This is a guy who built himself. He dropped the Coppola from his name and yeah. picked up Cage so he wouldn't be riding right. the coattails of his family. Yeah, he's his, his uncle, right? Yeah. He's Francis, Francis Coppola. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's... He's a self-made man in that way. No. Yeah. And, and he does a great job. He's an Oscar winner and he's... You know, unfortunately, he he has to make some bad he choices. He makes bad choices. Everybody, every there's not yeah. one actor who has not done one yeah. mm-hmm. or several bad choice movies. You yeah. know what I mean? Because sometimes you feel like you think it's going to be good and it's yeah. garbage. And Even you know. Meryl Streep was in She Devil. Her, oh, dude, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a some bad of them movie. Especially, well, some <laughs> of them Meryl Streep's movies are in it for yeah. the money at first. It, like, yeah. it depends on what it is, but sometimes they need money, and so they're like, "All right, oh, yeah. I'll do this." Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you know what? I mean. You know what I'm talking about. And and knowing myself, I mean, short of stripping and and being on the corner, but if I, if, if I had Jesus. to act in a movie, if somebody was like, "Hey, this is a really kind of shoddy movie," but I'll give you one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll well, work yeah. it out. Yeah, I'm hoping Sci-Fi calls me. I'll do it. <laughs> Charlotte, you I'll would do be shock. in street trash if they offered yeah. you a million dollars. I would. I yeah. would. Even though she just said she wouldn't do anything on the street. Or the <laughs> trash. But I, but I wouldn't play, you know, keep away with with a penis. That's yeah. the one thing I wouldn't do. That's something she does off screen. Yeah. She would never play with a severed penis. Oh my bad. Yes. My Se- severed, <laughs> severed. Uh, yeah, let's be clear. Severed right. penis. Right. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Jeez. On that note. On that Speaking note, yeah. Penis, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry, I'll put mine away. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, Michael, you're up. Okay, so my favorite Nick Cage film is also one of my favorite comedies of all time. Hey. Woohoo. And that's Raising Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you probably quote this movie probably more than than any of them, I think. Works was kept us happy. happy. <laughs> God, get out of here! <laughs> get out so, of and, here! And I don't know if I told you this, but I saw it in the theater. When oh! It first came out, but I was real little. I haven't told you this, but I went on a date with some chick last week, and it was playing out. Yeah. <laughs> didn't know what the hell's watch it. I think I turned around in my seat and watched, you know, the back of the wall more than I did the movie. Oh god! So yeah. But my mom, uh, <laughs> she took me to see it, and she thought she's going to see a comedy about a couple trying to raise the entire state. Of Arizona. So it is Aww, misleading. She really thought. She really oh, thought bless that. her Let, heart. Later on, she told me she's like, I hate that movie. I was like, Why? It's funny. So yeah. I thought they're gonna raise the whole state. Oh. Like, Mom. Like bring them out of <laughs> yeah. poverty or something. Like that. Yeah. I, yeah, I something saw like it because Eubanks recorded it off HBO. <clears throat> really. And had said, Just watch this. Just watch, watch this movie. Yeah. Like, huh? Yeah, but I mean, it's just. <laughs> it's, it's pretty goofy, man. Yeah. yeah it's very goofy. It's, and ha- it's I love Holly Hunter. I love, yeah. I love, I love her. Yeah. So if you if you haven't seen it, it's about an ex-con. And uh, a cop who tried to have a baby find out that she can't. Her <laughs> what is it? Her insides are a rocky place where his seed can find no purchase. So, <laughs> so the uh, a local successful businessman has like quintuplets. Yeah. So they figure that's too much for them to handle. So they go and steal a baby. Yeah. <laughs> they steal. Uh, they steal Nathan Jr. They're all like the names on crime. I think. <laughs> they, all, they all rhyme like it's Harry, like Harry, Larry, whatever. Yeah. Nathan June. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nathan June. Nathan June. But one of the, one of the interesting things I, I read about it that I never noticed was Nathan Jr. is the only character who never cries. Everybody in the movie cries except for him. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. He's yeah. a baby. Yeah. Yeah. And and what a great little actor. He did a great job. He did. The, the <laughs> scene where they're in the car trying to uh, catch up to, to Nick Cage after the whole supermarket yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. You know, he'll he'll raise his little hoodie up. And, and then, pull it down. And they're about to crash into a fence, and he pulls it down. <laughs> and all that was unscripted. Yeah. It was just him playing around. Yeah. And they got it on tape, wow. and it worked That's out. That's hilarious. Wow. I, think, yeah. I think they had, like, 15 kids. Yeah, because they kept learning to walk. Yeah. Because oh. <laughs> he had five yeah. you know, one time on the screen. Yeah. Um, but, um... Let's go and get Nathan Jr. <laughs> yeah, and then the yeah. two guys, John Goodman. <laughs> Love John Goodman. And, uh... I forgot his name. Uh, we even met him, too. William... Whoa. That guy. 
do, something do, like that. Do, yeah. Do, do. Yeah. But, yeah uh, we got to meet him, which was yeah. awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, and then there's the whole scene. <laughs> there's all the whole thing with uh, Smalls, the yeah. bounty hunter on the bike, and they oh, both yeah. have, they both have the same tattoo of yeah. Woody Woodpecker. So a lot of it's kind of like a lot. There's a lot of speculation that it's meant to represent his past trying to, you know, bring him back into oh, his yeah. ways, and well, he's trying to break free of that. So oh, I thought that was yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Trying to escape, trying to escape who his, he was. Right. Look at that. So, it's very, very deep, you know, that's, that's for, for screwball. Yeah, yeah for and it looks comedy. completely yeah. goofy. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. You would but like it, Caitlin. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's really great. It's good. Uh, it's it's every time it's on we'll TV, be watching it. we, we watch, wait, it. watch it, you know. Yeah. We, could, we can start it in right in the middle of it. He's very lucky, I love Wild at Heart, because we would have wrestled over this one. Yeah, I know. I, 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 know. I, know. I, I really thought I was, I, I was going to have to pick something else, but um, yeah, raising his own. <laughs> no, I'm it's okay. Not about it's not about raising the state. Right. No, that's the last name. Yeah. The state. I'm okay. You're okay. That, that there's what, what it is. is. Oh, God, <laughs> the nerds. All right, I'm just going to turn this podcast off. I can't even deal with this, this craziness in here anymore. We're going to continue to quote it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Oh man, no! Raising Arizona is a good one, and I've only, the, the tragedy is I've only seen it one time from you guys showing it to me. But I think it was I, I was old enough to comprehend, but I don't, <laughs> but I don't remember as much of it as I probably should. So I need to revisit it. Yeah, you you so, need to revisit so, it. That is a ready. definite one for you so, to see this week. You got a penny. You got a penny on your head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, genius! I quote that all the time. <laughs> You got a panty on your head. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so yeah. that's like us with the words what's kept us happy. Yep. We say that all the time. All the time. Yeah. God. Love it. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. I haven't seen that in so long, but yeah. it's pretty good. You'll like it. I'd rather light a candle than curse you to darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and Holly Hunter. I love yes. her. I know I just said it's that, but I love lots, her. Lots she's of great. really great people. She just has yeah. a very distinct voice, and I think it fit yeah. for that yeah. man. It fit. Yeah. Because we, we heard her. Speaking of, we heard her talk. What trailer was it we heard her talk in? It was one of the, it was a new trailer for uh, some new movie, and her voice. Oh, Batman vs Superman. Her voice uh-oh. is in the trailer. Oh really? You Watch knew that was again. her, huh? I, she started talking in the trailer, and I was like, <laughs> "That's cool." Yeah, I, I love the whole her. Donald, Donald Sutherland at the end of that. Movie. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's She's her. great. Very cool. I love her. And yeah, just lots of great character actors in yeah. Raising mm-hmm. Arizona. Yeah, and that's a uh, Cohen. Yep. Yeah. That is Cone Brothers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good deal. One of their first ones. And uh, here comes the tragedy of all the Nicolas Cage. See, we, we're all beaming and glowing with the pride of yeah. these good movies. <laughs> what happened to doing the bad one first? Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, some of us like to look at ourselves in the mirror when we cry, so this is just, <laughs> this, is just this is just us doing that right That's now. What movie is that from? Please tell me you're quoting. That's uh, just his life. That's just my life. Uh, so when, uh, so you know, you're a little sad, you're a little depressed, you want to watch something just god awful. Well, you pick any of these movies we're about to discuss. Well, and and with Nicolas Cage, you're still getting a little something good. It's no, you know what? And I, I will discuss this with my choice real quick. But all right, so you know, anything else you want to say after we're only in? I think we're, we're ready for things in, to get bad. Right. Yeah, jeez. Um, yeah, well, if it, any fans out there who, who did like this podcast, I apologize. Cause, you know, but we all know who Nicolas Cage is. So. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. What? I thought we were talking about John Travolta. Uh, which, again, could probably work, too. Someone who started off good yeah. and just kind of pundered away. Um, all right, so my choice is one that is a remake. It is one that came out in 2006. And okay. I like how I'm telling you guys, like, y'all need to guess and you know what I chose. <laughs> uh, but it's one that, it, it, it's, <laughs> okay, man, it was, it's, apparently it's, a big it's, joke. it's supposed to be a horror thriller, oh, yeah. suspense, mystery, yeah. and it's one of the, gr- and I will say this right now, if, if you try to say it's a horror, it's not. Okay. Which, is, it, well, I'll go and say, it's the Wicker Man, yeah. so that way we're not guessing anymore, but the Wicker Man, and it is one of the greatest accidental comedy movies you will ever watch. Yeah, like, it's if you if you think of it as a comedy, yeah, it's so good. Aww. It is so good. Yeah, what the hell is with the bear suit? Uh, who knows, man? But like they were trying so, to spice it, it up meant for to be a d- horror movie. Yeah, 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 yeah it's, yeah, a, re- it's a it's a remake of a horror. Remake is very, yeah, very cool. it's a remake of a horror movie, and basically it's about kinda... this guy who's uh, who's investigating this town. Uh, because of this, like, uh, what is it? Uh, she goes missing. Yeah, she goes missing on the island, whatever. So, like, even the cover, like, if you look at the, if you grab the Wicker Man off the shelf, the cover of it has this very creepy, 
girl on it, eyes glowing. Like you're gonna, it's supposed to be a horror movie. Yeah. It's really, really boring. <laughs> but there's, more, it's, it, there's no suspense. The acting is just bad, man. Like when you pick a movie with where, where you just want to watch something with Nicolas Cage going over the top. Yeah. There's one scene. The these kid, no, 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 no. We'll get oh, there. Okay, okay. These kids, <laughs> these kids sorry. are all doing homework or something in school. Uh-huh. He barges in. He's like, what the hell are you all doing in here? Or whatever. But it's just the way he says it is so funny. I can't even. It's the most ridiculous. Because these kids are just doing like homework or something. And yeah. he's just, what the hell's wrong with you? To these te- It's just, watch. It. I'll find a clip when y'all leave. It's the funniest thing. I can't even do it justice. It's it's insane. Because it's supposed to be this thriller. Yeah. And it's supposed to be scary. And it's not. But when you Aww. watch that scene, and even the whole movie, Aww. you're laughing, man. It's awful. And then we get to what Michael's talking about. It's supposed to be the suspenseful moment. <laughs> this, they we're finally getting something. After like an hour and a half of just nothing, we're finally getting the suspense. And they put the they the cage over Nick Cage's head. And <laughs> that's a fan that's cage. That's a fan cage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fan cage. And they put it over they put it over his yes. head. And he's like, no, no. And you're like, oh, what is it gonna be? Is right. what is it gonna be? He's like, no, not the bees, not the bees. And they pour these just god awful. Okay, could... you laugh, but if somebody put a cage over your head filled with bees, yes, <laughs> I would be scared. You'd but, be screaming, not the bees. But as a as a movie goer, <laughs> I'm watching this. And Yawning. it was some of the worst <laughs> CGI I've ever Aww. seen. Like Aww. I would, I almost wish I remembered this as the bad CGI because it's like this, uh, this is awful CGI bees, and he's like, oh, oh god, it's the bees, oh, 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 my eyes, my eyes, oh. it, it sounds like sounds from that South Park. Like, oh god, now, now I'm out. He's just down. It is the worst fucking thing. I apologize. <laughs> I, I'm allowed to throw one out there. That was the worst. Thing I've ever seen, <laughs> and it's so funny, but it's not supposed to be, and that's the sad thing. IMDb yeah. gave it a three point six out of ten, and that's one of the lowest ratings. I've looked at all the movies, all of his movies, and that is one of I think the lowest rated movie he's done. You feel satisfied? I feel this satisfied. Is a bad movie. <laughs> this is a bad movie because it's not even the genre it was trying to be. Yeah. It was just super boring, and I think they uh, it just didn't need to be done. The original. I've, I haven't seen it because I've seen this yeah. one first. We own the original. Yeah, we own the original. Yeah. And I've heard it's very creepy. I've heard yeah. it's very creepy. I've heard it's very well done. And in this remake, they had an opportunity, and it just was bad. It just was not good because it just they just nothing was executed right. But I will say, it was nominated <laughs> for five awards. Really? You ready? Not Oscars. I'm no, no, no. You ready? Five Razzie there awards for worst picture, worst actor, worst screenplay, couple, worst remake or ripoff. Or screenplay based on the original screenplay, so Yikes. and it won for uh, best cinematography. So <laughs> they got they got one thing, but cinematography in a bad movie is not saying a whole lot. Right. Um, but yeah, so it was nominated for five Razzie. Has <laughs> some good looking shit. So it looked very good, but just everything else was just god awful. And the fact that just it got it, everything got nominated for worst something, you know, except for director, but it just was not good. So. I know there's people out there who refuse to see it, but I say if you want to watch a good accidental comedy, watch it. <laughs> if you want to watch a horrible, like a horror Nicolas Cage movie that you think will be good, don't do that it. That could be a whole nother podcast, The Accidental the ac- Comedy. Dude, yeah. accidental I'm comedy. just going to have to just go, where did I leave off? Because I will talk about this movie. It's a funny movie, but it's not supposed to be. I almost want to, dude, we should try it. You should just try to watch that tonight. Because uh, it's not that no, long. It's just a little over an hour. You know, every like, time we movie. discuss bad movies, Chase gets excited about watching a movie. Yeah, because they're great, man. <laughs> I like, know, they're after so uh, bad. Batman and Robin and Batman Forever, he went and bought those after we yeah, had a dog. Because they're so them. bad, they're good. You'll have the Steelbook Blu-ray of <laughs> Wicker, Wicker Man. Man. <laughs> Probably. And I will, I will be taking a picture of me going, like, super nerdy with it Aww. because I know no one listening can see what I just did. But you should go as him for Halloween and just put a cage over your cage head yeah. with, with fake bees with, in oh, it. The bees, <laughs> oh, not the bees, not the bees, not my eye. Like, it's so bad. And it's great, man. It's so bad, but it's great. So I, it definitely, go on, everyone go on YouTube and look up Wicker Man Clips and you will just have a gay old time, as the Flintstones would say. <laughs> so it will be great, man. Um, all right, so Caitlin, we're up. I, I'm, I just can't talk about it. <laughs> okay. So mine for the worst one, like I said, I haven't seen very many, is Ghost Rider, hey. which came out in 2007, <laughs> and it got a 5.2 out of 10. Okay, so I know my uh, I know my other one wasn't that much better, but 
for still, I think if you're only a five, it's not that great. Right. <laughs> you're you're so on the downside. Down. He's got Marvel behind you. Yes. Yeah. 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 For well, the well, ones Sony for true. the Nick Cage movies I've seen, that is my least favorite. I really didn't enjoy it. I thought it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a skeleton on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just, yeah, I thought it was saying something when you're a skeleton with a skull fire. It was just silly. I thought it was silly. I wasn't like the. It didn't capture my interest at all. I just, I wasn't into it, and it was. Is that the movie Peace Fire? No, that's the second. That's the second one. My my brother told me about that. Yeah, like what do you do? What happens when you have to go to the bathroom? And it's just like a slingshot of pea fire. It's awful. Yeah, it didn't even. That didn't even. So they didn't. They didn't want to lose the rights, so they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, right, it makes it there. it makes it even more silly. It makes you have less respect yeah. for it. Yeah. I haven't seen the second one, but I've heard about that part. But um, I just it, it, Nick Cage didn't belong in there as <laughs> he did, Johnny yeah, Blaze. Yeah. He, he didn't need to be Johnny Blaze. He just and that that wig though. <sighs> it's one of those things where you know he did what he did because he probably needed money or something. He just yeah. he, he he was taking whatever part he could get there because it just. You, you can't have any respect for it. No, and also, this, we talked about this the other week, CGI. CGI was bad. It was not good CGI. The story wasn't good. Right what? No, I'm sorry, I'm I, don't, I don't really care. This is how I feel about this movie. Sorry. The, <laughs> sorry, I'm no, slapping I'm just, yeah. down on the table no, the mic's yeah. sitting on. Because now they I, know, Caitlin. Go! I have to let them know. I have. You're but passionate. I'm passionate yeah, no, about it. The, <laughs> yeah. Of the ones I've seen, I just didn't like it. It was not interesting. It had bad CGI, bad acting. It was silly. It just, well, I was no. not impressed. Heart hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with no, you. No, you right. know what, though? I care for it. No, 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 but here we go. <laughs> I, this movie is not that Rebuttal. bad. It's not that bad. It's not good. I didn't but say it's not it was bad. the worst. I just wasn't impressed with it. There's, and there's, of, there is yeah. some. No, well, no, because no, I've only seen like four or five. No, and the I, other ones I didn't mind. This was the one that I was kind of like really. No, trust me. There's lots of parts in that that are pretty goofy. <laughs> yeah. But I will say, my only issues with it, like my besides like the obvious what you just said, like my my only big issues with it are like. It, it, the, he doesn't do a whole lot. Like, the scenes where he's supposed to be, like, attacking people and taking their souls, he just goes, look into my eyes. And then it just shows, like, this little, like, crazy fire flame, and then it goes back to where, like, they're crispy. Like, they don't, you don't see anything. But there was one... You want the, to see him fry up. Yeah. Right. And there's one deeming quality, and it's, the very, it's a really cool shot, actually. It's, like, him, and I can't remember the dude's name, but he has a real thick mustache. He's in, like, a lot of westerns. But, like, he... Uh, Sam Elliott. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I can't I can remember <laughs> his name. I, I can remember his name. But um but basically they like he find out he's a ghost rider too and he has his horse and he's on his motorcycle and they're they're driving through the desert where the sun's kinda coming up and they're Aww. it was a kind of a cool scene. It was it was very it was pretty well done. <laughs> I, I approve I approve that? that message. Alright. Yeah. It was alright, it was a little bit well, well done and it was all good. Yeah, well, it's nice it wasn't terrible. It was just <laughs> it was one of those time. things that, like, uh, of the ones I've seen, <laughs> yeah. I had to pick one. Yeah, that's no. my least favorite I, yeah. of the ones I have. Seen. Yeah, I understand. No, that. but like you said, like me and you talked. Me and you talked about it. Like Nick Cage didn't need to be Johnny Blaze. And if you wanted him that bad to be Johnny Blaze, don't try to make him look younger by giving him dark fake hair. That doesn't work. Yeah. And then like him trying to go after Eva Mendez, who was like thirty years younger than him. <laughs> yeah. Like that didn't need to happen either. That's. Yeah. Yeah. And it just, eh. it's okay. We own it. And because, like, I, I, I think it's okay. Why do you own it? Well, two versions of it. I have the oh, right. Blu-ray of it, and then we have the one that, for Christmas one year, they bought me a box. <laughs> Literally, they got me a, a box. I was like, oh, what could this be? I'm all excited. It's Christmas morning. I'm all giddy. It's the and shape of DVDs. It's a shit, yeah. I'm like, oh... And I open it up, and I look, and it took me a second to comprehend what was happening, because like, <laughs> I opened it up and saw DVDs, and I'm like, oh, sweet! And then I turn the box to read the DVDs, and it's just a bunch of just any and awful, every, any kind of Nicolas Cage movie they probably uh, saw, and it was just like insane looking. I own too many Nicolas Cage movies, but it goes perfect with this Nick Cage week. I've got but, too many ratings on my eBay for buying Nicholas yeah, Cage. <laughs> so it wasn't like it didn't come in a box that no, you no, bought. No, no, no. They, they bought visual. every oh, single wow. DVD and they could find, find that that yeah. was Nicholas Cage. And we tried to find stuff that wasn't very good. Yeah. We didn't want to buy movies dangerous. that were yeah, enjoyable. just movies that were shit. <laughs> 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 drive <laughs> angry. Yeah. The, I drew, I, dude, Cri- I was Christmas angry <laughs> after I opened that present. <laughs> Like it was and insane. She changed the cover. Oh yeah, art. she photoshopped the cover art of Ghost, Ghost Rider, Rider to say Deer Rider. So it's Ghost Rider <laughs> with a Santa hat 
on a motorcycle that they that they a photoshopped deer a deer head. It's Christmas. Yes, yeah, so it's Christmas time, so it's the deer rider. God. And I looked at it, and I'm like, what the hell's the deer rider? <laughs> and so I look at it, I look at it, and I'm like, what? Is, okay, if everyone out there, if you follow my Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, I'm gonna take a picture of it and I will post it on those pages. I'm putting that school loan money to use. Yes, all that Art Institute stuff went into torturing yeah. me for Christmas one year. That's right. But it was it was funny <laughs> once I realized what was going on because it was supposed to be a gag gift. That was our but favorite I was just like yeah y'all because y'all kept saying the entire member when we all divided the presents and all that stuff you were like this box is our favorite gift <laughs> we got you and I was like oh sweet we what is it oh why yeah and I'm opening up all this cool stuff I'm like dude this box I want me to open up last and they're saying it's better than all this other stuff I just opened. Like, and then I open it up and I'm like, oh, not the, not the DVDs, no, no, not my eyes. Cage. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. you're pouring bad Nicholas Cage movies into a cage over my head. I'm like, no, my eyes. Uh, yeah. But it was fun. That was good. That was good times. But this is why you have such extensive knowledge yes. of crazy Nick Nicholas Cage movies. <laughs> and I and I regret it ever since. <laughs> so, but no, Ghost Rider is goofy as shit. They just make little subtle subtle errors that will. Subtle as soon as they decide not to make another one, Marvel Studios hopefully takes it back from Sony and they can make a good... Because Ghost Rider's ter- Think about it. It's terrifying. Yeah. A skull-fired It's terrifying as to- it is. <laughs> but, 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 but we need it for all the right uh-huh. reasons, you see. All right. Oh. All right. So I'll spout your worst. <laughs> Do your worst. All right. It's another remake. Wicker Man? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Gone in 60 seconds. Oh, right. Yeah. Which... Now, we'll discuss. Okay. <laughs> His name's Memphis Reigns. That's my first problem. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, not Roman Reigns. My bad. So, <laughs> if that is your real name. If that is Memphis Reigns. So he's he's semi retired car thief who now has to save his brother by stealing 50 specific cars in one night with his crew of ragtag thieves. <laughs> Uh, including a blonde Angelina Jolie with dreads. Yeah, yeah no, that irritates me. Uh, yeah. that, it's pretty bad. bad. That's the worst the part. Of that. That's the worst part about that. Uh, yeah, it's it's upsetting. Yeah. And <laughs> I don't. I. I could. Yeah, I'm not gonna go off on a tangent on her. I'm just gonna focus. <laughs> hey, she's having a hard time. Well, with her yeah. billions. Now yeah. I will tell you. The the shining light of all this is that Nicolas Cage took so many driving classes that he did almost all of his own stunt driving. I mean, that's commitment to a crap project. <laughs> and I admire that. See? It's, He's dedicated fool, man. See, yeah. you're, you're kind of like Nicolas Cage. You got a crap gift wow. and you said, you know what? I'm going to watch every single one of these movies. Yeah. I'm going to turn this frown <laughs> upside and, down. <laughs> and I did. I think the only one I didn't watch was Adaptation. Which is supposed to be good. Which is supposed, supposed to be good. good. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was trying to get all the bad ones out of the way. We yeah. can't some good ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, we'll Adaptation and... All right, that's good. But uh, it's just everybody's over the top in this movie. Everybody's over the top. It's like a car commercial for two hours or however long it lasts. And, Fast and the Furious. Okay, no, no. And it's overboard. Okay, <laughs> they, <laughs> they play. No, shut you down. Yeah, <laughs> they I'm play like, <laughs> low rider, right? And it's this religious experience for him. It he's is. so excited. He's so excited. And he does his little finger wiggle when he's gonna get in the car and drive, and that stresses me out. <laughs> <laughs> It is. Why does that stress you out? Because it's so bad. It's like it's, it's pumping him up. It's embarrassing. Because he's about it's, to go steal a lowrider. Right. He's about to steal it. It's and then we've got a big, you know, fight scene, and and you know, Giovanni. Rubisi. Rub, I yeah. Love him though. He's he's, crazy, he's the hero. And then you've got this the cop that wants him and should have had him and he should have been put away long ago but then just by some chance he saves his life and now he realizes oh he's actually a good guy, a good guy. I'm gonna let you go <laughs> and, I mean it's just please no hey, it's that same cliche it was no. a car he drives at the end I don't it was know like the it, was ca- it was like Shelby, it? it was a car that he loved that they stole yeah, and got that, destroyed and that they, they had I can't that, remember what I think, kind it was of, I think it was he yeah. and this car have a history that's what they say. He's got a history with this car that's his unicorn. Now, I know we say that playing around, but you cannot have a, have an action film in which you have the line, it's his unicorn, and we're supposed to think of him as, an as like an action tough guy who has a unicorn that he has a history with that's inanimate. It, it's a problem because it sounds like something for, you know, 
my obsession, that show where the guy's in love with his car named Chase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah and like, the, a lot of people listening are very confused, but there was this guy that was my weird obsession. My strange he had a car. obsession. My strange obsession. Yeah. He had a car that was named Chase, and they waited for me to come home. And they go, Chase, come here. Yeah. We got something to show you. And they played that clip, and he's like, my car Chase. And I was like, oh. And he's like he's kissing on it. And he's getting underneath it. Yeah. And all the parts. Yeah. And didn't he say and he had he- sex with it? Yeah. Something like Something that. Something like that. He rubbed yeah. his balls as, on it. I mean, as, as, how much much as much as you can. As much as you can. So, yeah. and the other problem, we're meant to believe that Nicolas Cage is the most famous car thief in the world. <laughs> just... See, Charlotte's stretching now because look at some of these movies. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I know. Nick Cage is famous car thief. I know. It's it's not the same as him being a flaming skeleton, but I believe that <laughs> more than I believe him. Because, because when Nick Cage gets angry, I feel like there's some steam. In yeah, I feel like there. he could have that type of anger. No, I know. That's, but no, that's, I know. A little fun it's fact a, it's for you, though. Concept. The man you all pinned all your hopes on was an uncredited rewriter for this movie. J.J. Abrams. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's crazy. And you pinned all your hopes on him. You've hitched your wagon to his... <laughs> His star, so his, his star, star Wars. Wars. Yeah, yeah, his Star Wars. And Star Trek. Hopefully, he won't get lost. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there, because he did lost. Oh, yeah. And I'm. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. Saying lost. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. If, if if I'm remembering correctly, right, there was a thing between Angelina Jolie's character and Nicolas Cage's yeah. character, yes. which also is another Eva Mendez problem for me. But here's the thing. At the time, oh, Angelina the, Jolie the, he's was like 40, he's like forty five or something. Angelina like Jolie like was like twenty two. Okay. Wow. Yeah, at and the time really of this movie, Seriously? she was in her early twenties. Wow. So, she so he was probably what in his thirties. She was a baby. Yeah. She's she's close to our age. Uh, she's like a year or two older than us. Damn. But basically, but but the thing about that, and though, we're talking about Angelina fifteen Jolie, years though, ago. But Angelina Jolie though, at that age and that stage of her life, was going through the weird shit, man. She was making out with her brother and with Billy Bob, and that was some weird. Okay, thing. that's fine and all, but this isn't her decision to date Nicolas Cage. This is writers. This when is when she auditioned for that movie. She knew she was gonna have to touch his pee pee. I don't know that <laughs> she ever. <laughs> Somebody touched my pee pee. But, no, but you know what I mean, though. But this is my thing, and this is what I wanted to. To mention about Nicolas Cage, he is so he shines so well in in comedies where he, or where he can dig into a character, you know, be, serious yeah. stuff. He's not an action hero. He won an Oscar for Leaving Las Vegas, and since then he has been in everything. And they legitimately tried to make him an action hero with Con Air and Face Off and everything else. And, <laughs> the rogue. and some of them were really good. But now it's just piddling away, and we're getting these weird movies, and I understand why. But he really is a wonderful actor when he's able to really dig into a character, or has something meaty to well, work act. with. Yeah. yeah, he really does a good job. It's not that goofy, he's because even the goofy ones he's acting. Yeah, you know, I, I it's not that he's one of these bad actors, and we can't figure out why he's in movies. He really is good. Yeah. And. <clears throat> And it's like he's just doing his Nicolas Cage thing and gone in sixty seconds, but he's it's in the wrong movie. It doesn't belong where it is. It's you know, had he done the same things even in Wild at Heart, it would have made more sense. Yeah. When you're wiggling your fingers and you're having a religious experience because of this low rider song, which nobody has. It, just, <laughs> it it's disturbing to me because it doesn't belong. We're not dealing with a wild, kind of different David Lynch film. We're dealing with Gone in 60 Seconds. I don't know what's happening now. I will say, though, I've, I've seen this movie. I, I believe it. <laughs> I, don't think it's, I don't think it's that bad. I understand why you, why you wouldn't like it or why people don't like it. I don't think it's that bad. It is a little ridiculous, but it's not that bad. I will say the worst part about it to me was Angelina Jolie. She was a little annoying. Yeah, and if we were talking about her worst movie, this might be this it. This might be it, yeah. Because just, she's uh, an Oscar winner, too. Why can't anybody this, act in this has movie? Has she won an Oscar at this point? Yeah. Yeah, she won a She had won for Girl Interrupted. Uh, yeah, uh, supporting that. actress. That's where she kissed her brother. That's where she kissed her brother. But the thing yeah. is... She kissed her brother, man. So we've got... And, and Robert Duvall's in this. Yeah, We've got... Right. We've got lots of name people, man. Did she win anything for um, Maleficent? 
I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, okay, I thought that that, was... that one for visuals and stuff. Okay, really the movie yeah. man, but her. Yeah, yeah. she. Okay. She's only one because she did really good. I will say that was really. Yeah. She did really good in that one. But yeah. this this movie is is an instance of a bunch of really great actors, just like like they're in a high school play with cars. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> like. <laughs> But this movie came out before Fast and the Furious, so this was this is something they probably thought would be like right. But it's a, a remake franchise. of a 1974 yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, queen, but yeah, a loose re- a loose remake. Yeah. <laughs> like we're gonna title. call it the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's not cars. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like them. Stepford Wives as a remake. All right, Burr. it's not a remake of anything good. <laughs> God. So. You know, it is what it is. But like we said, it's ones that we just don't enjoy as much, and yeah, we get it. Mm-hmm. We're there. We're hit. We yeah, it. We're cool, you have man. to really, you have to really some suspend some belief for this movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little out there, but we'll get to that yeah. one too, Caitlin. Don't you worry. Uh, it is. <laughs> yeah, she Don't looks like she's nervous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the shelf and just pick out all the Nicolas Cage movies we have. We have <laughs> a lot. They're, Show her man, some they're... good ones. And look, we got Trespass, that piece of garbage with Nicholas Nicholas Cage. Whoa, <laughs> with uh, uh, what's her and... name? Nicole, and, uh, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman, yeah. Wow. And Nicole Smith. <laughs> Jesus. Huh? Who Nicole about? Kidman. Look at it. Hey, pause look, the you should lean over there and grab the cover. <laughs> Whoa. It's, uh, all right. <laughs> grab the cover because uh, it's, it's the worst Photoshop ever. Yeah, it is. Stop ever. calling Peter's cover. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's wor- It's right there. I'm looking at it. Grab it. It's the worst. It's the worst Photoshop Trespass. ever. Trespass. Trespass. And th- we're gonna get involved here. See, and it, uh, and I don't know if y'all read the comments on the podcast, guys, but they have a thing where everyone wants us to do a one podcast at least with like um, a video where we can record us talking. But um, yeah, like watch for, a movie and yeah. talk about it. Well, no, no, no. Like we do the podcast, but they can see us. Aww. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus, Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's garbage. I want to be forewarned. I'm gonna be like in prom garb. They're going to wonder what happened. <laughs> They're like, why are you so dressed up for the podcast? Oh, this is how I always dress for the podcast. And right. you know what? It includes a free Jeez. digital copy. Oh, we'll And we'll get to this one too. Don't you worry. Aww. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Can you, Can you dig it? But no, I understand. It's, yeah. it's an acquired taste. It's like a fine wine. It's yes. meant for 14-year-old boys. Is it? Yeah, is it? Yeah. Did it get better with age? We'll find out very soon. Because I think, <laughs> no, I think you, 14-year-old yeah. boys would be happy with this. No, we've got you, okay, cars, we got action, we got Angelina well, Jolie. I was going to say, if you're, a fan, <laughs> if you're a fan of just ridiculous plot, cars, yeah. a young Angelina Jolie before she looked like a skeleton face, and then we <laughs> have... Before well, she so, looked like the Ghost Rider? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, she had some more meat on her bones, she was in her 20s. I mean, if you're a yeah. fan of Angelina Jolie looking normal, mm-hmm. then they yeah. And so, But not, because your, she's got blonde dreads. She looks dreads. like, you know... Travolta in that movie. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Battlefield Earth. Oh my God. <laughs> that was horrible. That's Jesus. <laughs> That's fantastic. <Zemu. laughs> Jesus. Is that who you're supposed to be? I don't know if he's playing Zemu or just someone. Just somebody uh, from that. Yeah. Then yeah. he put his own yeah. money in that movie. Yeah. What a waste. A what lot. a turd. Uh oh. Yeah. Pa- yeah. Chocolate. Weird pause. All right. Well, we're, you lost your turn. All right, Michael. Let's end on a bad note. Let's uh, do it. This would be pretty easy. Well. <laughs> My uh, least favorite is Snake Eyes, and it's not even not even his worst film. I was just out of, <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's not even his worst. No, no, it's like, it's like y'all. It could get so much worse. Yes, and, and hey, it, it did with Wicker Man. It does later yeah, on. But I, I agree. You know, he's I think he's a great actor. He's he's won an Oscar, but I haven't I haven't bothered to see any of his later movies. Um, but what I wanted to talk about <laughs> wasn't even the movie. wasn't even the movie. But it was just his his biggest problem is his. Michael Jackson esque spending habits, and I was doing research, and he's he's gone through like a hundred and fifty million dollars, just because of just because of crap he's bought, and I you know due to his out of control spending, you know we've got The Wicker Man, Bangkok Dangerous, Knowing, Sources Apprenticed, uh, <laughs> Season of the Witch, and then these next ones it sounds like they're in some type of tragic order. You've got Drive Angry. Trespass, Stolen, Rage, <laughs> Outcast, Left Behind, and Dying of the Light. Oh my god. <laughs> Nick so Cage it sounds has, like he's actually yeah. dying. As yeah, he he's just like, on. as he goes on, his, yeah. uh, his acting and everything else is just the away. Just death. Yeah. And that's Aww. it. 
but I wanted to share, the raid, share with you guys some of the and things that he fought. It sounds like that poem, The Dying of the Night, Rage. Yeah. Yeah. Rage, Rage. But um, he's got a pyramid-shaped tomb in New Orleans where he wants to be buried. Seriously? Sealed. What a sick best. <laughs> he owns exotic pets, uh, which includes tons of snakes, and a $150,000 octopus. <laughs> what, oh, the no. what the hell? No, no, he's no. got a 67 million year old dinosaur skull that he bought for $276,000. Okay, let... He outbid Leonardo DiCaprio for it. Okay, let me tell you That's right now brilliant. Chase would buy that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably That's would too. Ridiculous. And then he has a collection of, uh, of, sh- of shrunken heads. What I might buy that. I like how he's playing this weird turn where, like, the one no, I no, chose no. my least favorite movie is yes, Snake Eyes, okay. but, but I'm about he's heads. gonna get back to Snake Eyes. Yeah, I was like, where are we going? Maybe, but then he's got a, a comic collection valued at 1.68 million. Yeah, I've, okay. heard, I've heard he has a yeah. crazy comic collection. Yeah. Chase would also buy that. 50 uh, I am vehicles, including a, uh, a rare Lamborghini worth half a million. And a Do Ferrari, they have a history? And a Ferrari, <laughs> a Ferrari Enzo, which is like a million dollars. It made like 370 of these. Jesus. So that's pretty rare. How many vehicles? Over 50. He's got like 16 motorcycles. Why? Because he's Nick Cage. Why? Four, That's why he does these movies. Four luxury yachts, a jet, and 15 homes, including two castles. One, he's never spent a night in. He just and has he, it for and he owns And he owns a small island, too. This so is, it's okay. because of all these movies that we've got all this crap. He's just like one of those lonely old women that's <laughs> on the QVC network just buying whatever bracelet they put up. Yeah. yeah he's just, he just, he yeah, can't he control himself. Control. And is he, he like, married? He has been several times. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he is now. But. I don't think he is now. And uh. he blames all this, all his money loss on his ex-business manager. And he just, he owes the IRS so much money. Yeah, he I've heard like, he just owes lots of money. He owes him like, I think it's like $10 million. So it's yeah. like he's buying all this stuff and then also doing a, a check for like $1,000 for... Yeah. I, I will say this, yeah. though. He he does, and he has said that he will take any movie he, he can yeah, so that care. he can pay he, back his debts. Yeah. Which you know, sad. all this happened He's prior to... He's more debt. <laughs> but yeah. can you imagine... Okay, but think of it like this. He's going to do so many crap movies so he can pay these debts off, but just think if he did one good one. It would make a lot that of money. That would make a lot of money. And if he's going to make all these bad movies, then, you know, what What does that say to you, the director, if, you're, if you, you know, offer, you know, ask him to be in this movie, and he just says yes, like, it doesn't matter what you, what it you offer what you him, him, you know? You're just he get needs, crap anyway. but he, he's going to get paid millions no matter what. And he that's needs like, another no leaving what Las Vegas or something yeah. like that. Something, he needs one something, something smaller. One smaller big hit. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, who knows? But yeah. but for it's now, just, he's just so he's trying to. He still wants to buy things and he wants to pay his debts and and yeah. I get it. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do to pay your debts, and at least he's yeah. doing that. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's yeah, he hasn't people. defaulted on it. Yeah. He hasn't claimed bankruptcy. He hasn't gone to to prison like Snipes has. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. So but it just makes me sad because you know, for you know, we could have had more racing Arizona's or and hasn't he sold Arts. off a lot of that stuff? I think he though? sold. Yeah, this was a couple of years ago, so I think so he sure sold, sold off. some of it. Yeah, and, but I should sell your island and then you're done with your debts, right? Seriously. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm sell sure. your dinosaur head that's worth millions and you pay. Mm-hmm. So you could sell two of your a million things and mm-hmm. you would be fine. It's just amazing to me. Nick Cage is great. He's Look, crazy. Her jaws, Caitlin's jaws, <laughs> dropped <laughs> by all I, the I, shitty. I, I was like that reading all this stuff. I was like. Does this list ever end? But it makes like, sense. Why I mean, do you need all think, of that? But think about it. We were at Best Buy, and there was some. There was a Nick Cage movie just sitting there, and I was like, what the hell is mm-hmm. this? Like, it, it's out. It came out, like, that week. Yeah. And I was like, what is this? Did you, know, you buy it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you bought it, did you? Almost. It's in to. your It's in your Right collection. after it. Yeah. It's on Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah. Collector's edition. Collector's yeah. edition. Yeah, still edition. Hey, I, I'm, I'm not that trashy. All right? But I can understand how you get out of control with spending. I can. Look at the room you're in. Look at, I mean, Jesus. I mean, yeah. we, we, I mean, I'm not like out of control, but I mean, there's, I can understand. Is that a dinosaur head over there? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's a dinosaur. When I think, <laughs> like, like the money, the amount of money I've spent on markers and stickers. I'm a woman in my late 30s. <laughs> but I will spend money that I probably should save for a rainy day. Yeah. Or maybe there's gas that needs to be put in my car. But I will be like, oh, stickers. <laughs> well, but, or these markers smell like grapes. Yeah. Uh, you know? I will say, though, there's like, a big difference between, between you know, markers and a castle. Yeah. Right, but in, well, in castles, my money so. terms. Or an island. Okay, or DVDs. I'm the same. L- let me go buy a DVD I won't ever watch. But I can say I have it. You know, I mean, I, I, 
I he's a collector of oddball things. Well, some of the things you know. But okay, cars, a DVD for like ten to twenty dollars right, is a but, little different from an Islander shit. You're never at an the octopus. Time, at the time he was that? buying those things, he had that money. He had a full time uh, veterinarian. To take care of all his really all his well, and I mean, Nicholas Cage probably still has enough money to buy and sell all of us. Yeah, oh, he's yeah, living yeah. fine. He's living fine. He's yeah. still feel bad. Yeah, I'm not feeling bad for Nick Cage. Yeah, because I'm, as long as you're paying the IRS, you're good. And what yeah. time does he actually have to mess with all those snakes or anything I know, else? Right? <laughs> What's he, the point of owning it when you're so busy? And if he had, like, he like you said, all that money in that castle and has to say, you know, yeah, like you say, you just said he. he so who stays there? Like nobody. I would just, I would, I would flip that thing. I would, I would flip it. Yeah. You know, he bought it, he refurbished it, flip it. He's going to be the richest man alive because he's he going to Is he a nice person? I haven't heard, I haven't I haven't heard, heard bad, bad things. things about him, yeah. yeah. I think he's probably a nice guy. I think he probably is too. I'm wondering if he's like one of those people who's rich and they're snobby about it, or if they're no, nice. No, I think he's just a guy I'm wondering if he's a generous them, person. You know? If he buys all this crap for himself, does oh, yeah. he donate the, to anybody? No, no, or? No, no. Yeah, there's another story I read too where he owed, he had like a tax lien of like, what was it, like $600,000? Because uh, gifts he gave to people for over like five years, like between like two thousand and four and two thousand nine. See, so I see, if I ever meet Nick ideas. Cage, I'm gonna explain to him how I need a new car. Yeah. <laughs> One of be like, 50. you have over fifty. No, Come yeah. on. So I will say, I think he's probably a nice guy who just he likes he likes money. He yeah, likes buying control. things. He's he bad control. with money. He's just bad yeah, with money. That's why he had a why he had a, uh, a business manager. Someone yeah. to, or someone to help him with that who kind of who screwed him up. Screwed. Yeah. So I think I mean it's like he's it, on the right track, and I think I'm, I always hope that maybe when he's done paying off the debt, mm-hmm. he'll be like, okay, now I can now act I can finally. Do some yeah. Stuff but I know there's one movie that had out. just come out recently that people say is just the worst movie of left all behind. time. Was it Left Behind? It was Left Behind. Yeah, they said it was just the worst movie of all and time. And what's sad is, is one? yeah, it, they yeah, had it several came out, Left Behinds. No, Left Behind came out last year. Not the, yeah. not the Kirk Cameron. No, 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 Awful. You know what's weird about it though? We watched the trailer. Yeah, we watched the trailer. <laughs> and after the trailer, I'm like, you know, it didn't look that bad. So that just shows you they can yeah, cut anything, yeah, they can cut anything to look like, to look like but, a good man, trailer. And, and like with Wicker Man, it's a bad movie, but it's you can watch it and not kill yourself. <laughs> but I've heard, but I've straight up heard this movie is just what shit. a ringing yeah. endorsement. No, for when but, you yeah. watch no, but there's a difference between like a, and there's there's a difference between like it's so bad it's good. And then there's, it's just, it's, just it's embarrassing. Bad. Like, yeah. you, you watch it and it's embarrassing. The effects, the acting, just everything. And it has one of the worst covers I've ever seen. I think yeah. just, like, looking to the side. Yeah. And it just looks yeah. like someone, like, t- it, is... they, like, cut his head off in Photoshop and just turned it. Like, it looks like the, the cover to Faculty, but different. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Faculty, at least, was another fun 90s. You know what I mean, yeah. though? How they used to do every cover where yeah. it's like the lead person in front and everybody behind them? Yeah. Like, Final yeah. Destination did that. Scream did that. Like, Faith Plus One. Yes. <laughs> like, for uh, Cartman. Everybody looking very intense yeah. and worried. Yeah. Everyone's looking at the ocean and Cartman just in the front. Like, yeah. Um, no, but Nicolas Cage will yeah. have... He'll, you know, it's, you love to hate him. You love to love him. He's just kind of there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Now, as of now, he's just kind of there. And, I, and at some point... It makes me nervous because he gets these straight to DVD movies, and they're probably some of them are probably pretty decent. But I just get nervous. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I would rather watch the ones I've already seen, or I know. You'd are rather enjoy. wait for another Christmas gift. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be it'll be part two of just all the movies you didn't give me that are right. <laughs> it'll be the ones that have come he's out since that year. Yeah. He's released like yeah. thirty movies in a couple yeah. years. I mean, geez, when did y'all do that? Three oh, years it's ago. Been, yeah, it's been years, about three yeah. or four years ago. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, a lot of movies have come out in the cage since yeah. three or four years. So. Snake Eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, but Snake Eyes is good. Man. Snake Eyes wasn't bad. It but. it just was too much going on at once. I know. It I is. didn't know what I was supposed to focus on. And it, it tried to be. You know. It's like it tried to outsmart itself. Almost. Yeah. And just became even, stupid. Honestly, I don't even know if I've seen Snake it, Eyes. It was one of those trailers where before, seeing trailers of it before a movie yeah. on VHS tape would start. He's like a corrupt kind of corrupt cop, and he's working in Vegas, and there's this fight, someone gets murdered, and he tries to figure out. How it's all tied yeah. together. It's mm. one of the mystery movies, but it means, like I said, it's not bad. It's just it could have been better. Yeah, it was too much going on, and it did get too busybody yeah. for it tried, itself. Yeah, like, it tried to get yeah. the uh, sneezes in it. Hey. So, so. Yeah, it was another one of those we had to go see. What happened was he 
Nick Cage was cool in the night. Nicolas yeah. Cage won an Oscar for a movie Michael really loved. And after that happened, we had to see everything he was in. I don't know when it ended. I don't know when it tapered off. But for a while there... Calm down. <laughs> anytime they announced a Nicolas Cage movie, I was driving and getting movie tickets. And we were going to see it. Hey! So this is how come I have a vast knowledge of late 90s Nicolas Cage movies. <laughs> late 90s Nicolas Cage movies. Oh my gosh. Well, this was a very entertaining episode this week. So hopefully everybody out there just bear with us. Chase is very... bored. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just oh, done. I don't know what's going on. No, no, no. I'm mean, entertaining as a good... And like, for real, like just discussing some of the stuff about Nicolas Cage was very entertaining. So... Um, yeah, so everybody listening, let us know in the, the comments section. The more you know. Yeah, the more you... Yeah, we'll have a little slogan at the end. Uh, but yeah, let us know in the comment section your favorite and least favorite Nicolas Cage movie. Um, and do check out the uh, my Instagram itself. I'll put the links down below so you can go check out the Deer Rider. And uh, thank you guys... Yeah, and thank you guys for listening. It was it was a fun episode this time. So thank you guys. And yeah, I like the other ones more. No, but... Yeah, wow. I didn't mean to sound like that. Yeah, yeah what uh, But <laughs> thank you guys. We will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.